Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Leerbach, and you're just in time for the final episode of No Straight Roads. In the last episode, we fought Tatiana, the final boss? Question mark? Because now we seem to have a bit of a twist going on? Uh, as Cliff had entered the scene, so let's find out what that's about, shall we? Oh, yeah, in the last episode, we also got the melting clock, one of our collectibles, a uh, magazine number one, which we actually saw that in the in the hallway leading up to our fight, where we got the base, the base track unlocked for Tatiana. Tatiana, Tatiana, Tatiana. Cliff, great. Huh? You guys know each other? I told you before, you were perfect. Your rock was unstoppable, but you decided to go EDM. Well, take a good look around, <laughs> because EDM ain't got a place in this city, not anymore. Rock rules, baby. Don't flatter yourself too much. We saw the readings. The energy output those two knuckleheads produced is the same as ours. Energy and if you combine them instead of... Energy output who cares about? If you work together, that 47% and that other 47% would equal 94%. And you'd be able to power most of the city with just seven artists. Or six artists, excuse six groups, I should say. Finally understand how bad you treated me, Fyron. I used to be your biggest number one fan. I supported you through thick and thin. Everyone turned their backs on you in the ghouling. And this is the point when we realize this that this game is not about That's rock versus EDM, but it's more about music versus versus the entitled fan. And after we went through all that hardship, you simply gave up, took the easy way out. You abandoned rock. It was an insult to everything I believed in. You yanked my heart, crushed it. Actually, there's an argument that could be made about EDM being a lot, being, requiring you a lot more knowledge of how music works, as opposed to, like, rock or other form, traditional forms of music, where you only need to know, like, one or maybe two instruments. I don't give a damn about you. Because, like, EDM is, like, it's techno, it's, edit, it's essentially the editing of music itself. Which requires a lot more knowledge of how music works in, uh, in order to make good EDM anyway. What did you do, Cliff? I was hoping to save this for a more meaningful day, but uh, why delay the inevitable? He's gonna blow up the city, isn't he? What did you do? Set NSR's own satellite to plunge right into this tower. Huh? What? Cliff, you better call this off right now, or so help me. Too late. The coordinates are locked in. I can't do anything, even if I want it. Oh, so I'm telling you, you could. Our satellite is re entering the atmosphere. Oh, you should see the look on your face right now. Complete and utter hopelessness. Now, you know how I felt when you ditched me. Titled fan piece of crap. I love poetic justice. Come on, kids. Let's evacuate this filthy building. This guy's idea of poetic justice is the same as, the, as again, the entire fanboy's Twitter vlog. Well? This is wrong. What do you mean? This is exactly what we set off to do. Twitter vlog? I'm in blogs. And for all. Yeah, but we never agreed to obliterate its freaking tower. Come on now. Have you forgotten your fans? They all want you to destroy NSR. Remember, if we completely remove NSR from this landscape, you will gain total control over Vinyl City. Total control? We're just repeating history. What did you say? We've become the very thing we stood against. We're doing exactly what NSR was doing. 
We're the new NSR. Wait, we're the new NSR? Holy crap, why didn't they <laughs> Made it. You're overthinking this man. Eradicating NSR is the right thing. Uh, Shut up, Cliff. I'm you got a little May. She's so... Stop this satellite right now. Duke? Yeah? This is probably good. The writing for this game is so good. You would rather... Save your breath. I'm going with you. All right. Now all we need is a plan of action. The only way to stop the satellite is to get my artists to reclaim back their districts. Then we'll have enough power to repel it. Got it. I need some time to ensure the safety of my personnel and evacuate them from this building. Can you two handle the districts first? You can count on us. You guys won't succeed. Your fans will make sure of it. And here comes the best scene in the entire game. You broke my nose. <laughs> you deserve it, Cliff. Once you're done with the districts, head over to the Grand Cross and rock your instruments, okay? I think I see where you're going with this. Good. Good luck then. So I mentioned. I can't believe I just got a pet up for Cooper! <laughs> so I think I, mean, I mentioned uh, two episodes ago how uh, uh, I was watching Video Games Awesome play through, uh, through this game. And um, they mentioned something that actually I didn't realize until they mentioned. If you did not feed Ellie. And you did not unlock the hel the helicopter. It would be like just a big WTF moment, uh, like seeing that hel that helicopter come up with an al with an alligator. And like, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, so we got these guys which are just whomping in one hit. We can actually this one. I don't think we can activate both of them at the same time. But yeah, um, so this gives us a few options here. We can either attack enemies to get ammo, so we can fire at the whatever the cliff bot is. No, that's Zook. That's Zook and Mayday head on top of a tank. And we can either destroy it that way, or we can power all these to. Uh, Acti to activate it, and then we use the power of rock to save everything, to fix everything. Now, real quick, before going further, I do want to mention we're listening to like calm rock remixes of all the uh, bat all our previous battles as we enter each di district. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. So right now, we're listening to Eve's theme. All I want to see, do is see you turn into a giant woman, a giant woman. You have no clue how long I've been waiting to use that line, to, to quote that. <laughs> the show may have gone downhill dramatically after the Rose Quartz thing reveal. But damn, the show is still good for the first half. Um, so yeah, um... Yeah, uh, so now we're gonna listen to Tintin. Now home those drones, they're your fans, the very people who supported you. Okay. Oh, so the tank is attacking us. What? Ah! Oh, we destroyed it. I'm the oh, so I guess you do have to activate all the... Oh, okay. 
You do have to activate all the all the the thing. Thing from enemy. A few episodes ago, I just talked about how I wanted to, wanted to set a Tintin figurine. Screw that noise. Let's just go with Neon Jay. He's clearly the best. He's clearly the best one. So yeah, we get these little breaks here as we're switching the district. Though I'm almost certain we could have gone on foot faster than this. Even with loading screens. Might be able to actually. We might be able. To, oh, I was about to say that. Never mind. Ouch. Now we're listening to Yumi Steam. Um, so I was listening to the uh, soundtrack. Uh, this uh, and get and I got to this track in particular. It's actually a little weird because they do it in reverse. Because um, they'll like how we're doing like we're starting with Eve and we're working our way backwards. Uh, the actual song itself is the uh, starts with DJ Subatomic Supernova and works its way forward. Um, and someone actually mentioned something that's actually kind of a little poignant. Uh, this sounds like an apology tour. Like, you're not... You're not going through a bombastic boss fight. You're going through like an apology tour because you're in trying to make it up for your mistake. And... Yeah, I kind of feel like that... Fits. Like the somber music, playing the artist's songs, yeah, and it, it fits. It fits this kind of like somber end. To the whole thing, like instead of fighting to the death like we were doing before, though it's not really to the death, it's more uh, fighting to the pain, and uh, this uh, this is a, be the point where I quote Princess Bride, but I can't remember the quote exactly. The ones who give you unimaginable strength, you let them hit you. Just stand next to one and see for yourself. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one again. Ah, I am so bad at this. It doesn't help that there's like more enemies on the screen than they no than it normally is. And a giant F off tank that is very distracting because it looks just like us. I swear it looks exactly like us. Except you know looks younger, prettier and hat and better skin. <laughs> yeah, here we're listening to the side. This is this is the point where I realized we're listening to the remixes of the the mixes of the of the artists, and he's like, "Oh no, this is Sayu," <laughs> and of course I realized it's Sayu Steam, because of course me like the rest here and it fell in love with the with Sayu the moment we saw her. So freaking cute, and the song's actually really good. Like all the songs in this, in this game are like. No joke. Really good. And yeah, I keep forgetting to li to listen to Cliff <laughs> or read Cliff. This, this is why I think this is the point where I realized that like, Cliff's dialogue should have been spoken and not through a text. Um, because like I'm not li I'm not paying attention to the corner of the screen that I see him pop up, even though I'm aware he's supposed to be here. And yeah, so you're seeing the damage uh, that was done too throughout the district. You see like all the bunk beds, the B2K, B2J, bunk bed junction sign. 
the NSR bots are all repainted into the new program. I should have tried something here. Will this work? I don't think it'll work, but... Nope, okay. It was a shot. I just want to see if I could activate it. Cause that would have broken the game if you could. That makes sense why they didn't want. I didn't let you do that. But yeah. See the power of rock one last time. I wish they had a Christmas section for this. You could tell you it's not so bad after all. Now go. Power the Grand Plaza. Yeah, I'd love to see like the cast, like all the Christmas stuff. I think I feel like that would've been a good idea. I feel like, that, like may maybe they might do that next year for an update. I won't let you do this. But the only thing I paid attention to of his. Again, I really would, like again. It's not like I'm doing it on purpose. Like I'm just focused on everything else on the screen that's going on. I can't pay attention to his text. Here we are at the Grand Quaza. I don't want to do this, fellas, but you forced my hand. Damn it, we don't have time to deal with Cliff. We can't go any further. Oh, oh, there's some bots that we're just going to destroy in one hit. You kids look like you could use a hand. Oh. Oh, she picked up her guitar. She's gonna become cool fire ass. Ooh, that looks so epic. Just seeing that her the back of her head just burst into flame. Like, it's not even bursting into flames, it's th that burst effect that's so freaking cool. <laughs> you can see all the artists. Both their districts preparing for our queue. NSR's tower right in the middle. It's your last and final so showstopper. This is it. There's only one way to end this. Come on, guys! All together now! And this is when you realize the NSR tower is a metronome. And it's gonna transform the city? Or just the tower into a giant hand. Pinky out. That's right. We just saved the day with the power of rock! And got a golden vinyl. Look at that, mate. The city is cheering for us again. Isn't that great? Me? Oh no, your guitar! Did, did it break in the last battle? We don't deserve any hero's welcome. Not after all the things we've done. You guys did it! You two saved the NSR tower! How do you guys... Wait, aren't you enemies with NSR? What gives? We've changed. Catch you guys later. Hey, hold on now. This opens up to so many questions. Are you guys retiring? Are you buddies with NSR now? Who was piloting that helicopter? I'll get back to you on that. Thanks again! 
Again, if you didn't feed Ellie, that makes for an even funnier scene. Oh, hi Tatiana. Dig the new look. You could have taken the city for yourself, but instead you chose to save my enterprise. You have my deepest gratitude. Oh, it was nothing. Couldn't have done it without your help. Anyway, we better make a move first. Mayday. Everyone is here to celebrate you and Zook. Don't you think it's a little rude for you to simply leave? I've done these things a million times. Give the people a few words of encouragement. Sorry, guys. I've made a mistake. I may not like EDM, and that's okay. I'm glad you brought that up. I too am not free from my own wrongdoings, and I take full responsibility for my actions. Having said that, I intend to fix this misstep right here, right now. I have discussed with my artists, and we have agreed. Final City deserves better than this. No organization should be given absolute power. Hence, we are going to rebuild NSR from the ground up. A new system where all artists are welcome to perform in our city. We shall celebrate equality for everyone. Equality and fairness for all. And as a first step, I am pleased to personally offer you two a position in the new NSR party. It would mean a great deal to us if you could join our cause. What say you? to remain indie then I don't know but thanks so much for the offer I'm honored really despite what I did to you guys you all are being really nice you all are really nice but I need to lay low for a while this is a lot for me to process I, I'm sorry Hey, Mayday! Catch! Huh? Take good care of her, understand? I... I can't accept this! My love for rock may have returned, but my performing days are behind me. Someone else needs to take that mantle. No, Tatiana! I can't! I don't deserve... Mayday, you are a performer. Where I have failed, I want you to go beyond. Carry on the journey for me. Long live rock. Long live rock indeed. You don't need a triple A budget to make a good game. You just need to have heart and passion for it. You know what? It really is sad when an indie game has a better story than a triple-A title. Well, maybe not that sad. I mean, it's typical at this point, but... We're all in this together. And the sooner we acknowledge that, the quicker we can work towards a common goal. Everyone plays music for different reasons. Some do it for self-importance. Some do it to bond with their loved ones and some do it to understand their purpose in life. The important thing to know is this. There are no wrong answers. If we give everyone the opportunity to play their own music, we can build a world where creativity has no boundaries. You know, the parachute well, kid from earlier. I am happy to say that Vinyl City is steadily hitting. Totally amazing! Never have I seen our lights shine so bright. It is all thanks to not just NSR alone, but
but to the performers, the fans, and everyone who resides in this magnificent city. And to Mayday and Zook, I thank you too. You showed me that being an artist is a wonderful privilege. You troublemakers. Wherever you guys are, I hope you keep doing what you do best. I am <laughs> I am glad to see that this game is starting to get more and more love. I've seen people start I've seen its popularity so like so the game. It is such a wonderful game. There's so much heart and love that went into this title. I honestly want to see what it, what's next for Metro Metro Mimic. Uh, the, com the developing company behind this, I'm not sure if I said their name correctly. I want to see more. Like, this is their first game. I am truly impressed. Like, this is truly impressive. They worked hard on trying to make this game even better. Like, you know, fixing a lot of the glitches and problems. Um, and there are some glitches. There are, there are some glitches, unfortunately. You've seen some of them. Um, you've seen some more. You've seen, seen like the least minor glitches. I had one situation, no joke, when I'm where I was fighting Ten Ten, and uh, I would fall through the the battlefield down into the infinite void below. Uh, fortunately for me, I was able to just be able to switch to switch to Zook, because of course I'm. You see me at main Mayday mo most of the time. Um, I was able to switch to Duke and switch back and uh, fix the problem, which has been most of my problem with any of the glitches. Uh, oh, there was a weird sound glitch when I first fought Tatiana. I don't know what it was, but like this weird noise was, was playing through the battle until I died and reset uh, on the first time. I was like, I restarted the battle because of that. Like it was just so bad. Um, but it, yeah, it, like, like it, it happened once. And we didn't run into nearly as many of the, of the problems which I've, as I've seen in, uh, like I said, well, for example, uh, Video Games Awesome's playthrough where they had found all the glitches, including some the developers were not aware of, um, which is why, yeah. And they still ran into problems even after the glitches are fixed playing in co-op because the game's not meant for co-op, despite the fact it's got a co-op mode. Uh, yeah. I cannot stress this enough. This game is so good. I cannot wait to see more. I would love to see this concept um, played with and put and pushed even further with like other like going into other genres of music. You know, um, not just EDM. Going into like you know rock. Going into jazz. Going into uh, country. Kind of. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I'm trying to think what other rap. Yeah, I mean, I know they already did rap, but I'd like to see them actually do like actual rap, like an actual battle. Use like the rap fuse with the rock and stuff like that, you know, and like the switching between, um, and just do other, do something else in that. It doesn't have to be like a direct sequel. I'd love to see like a spiritual sequel of this. Or even if someone else was inspired enough to make their own game like this, I would love to see that too, because like, Yes. Yes, we love EDM too. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. They do love both rock and EDM. Like, again, the passion between this is obvious. Um, yeah. Our data, your data has been saved. Loading the save data will now place you in Vinyl City immediately before the battle with Tatiana. As a reward for completing the game, you have access to, to new game modes, travel the boss rooms again. And find Joey just outside the stage entrance. Talking to him will allow you to challenge in his new life. This unlocks parry mode in particular, uh, where you can only damage the bosses by parrying attacks. 
I tried finding DJ Subatomic Supernova this way, and nope, could not do it. Uh, skills and mods are also intact, so feel free to replay the boss fights with different modes and track. Game might have ended, but you can make the music in Violent City live forever. Which, thanks to the internet and thanks to the popularity of the songs, that seems to be the case. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to see what else these guys can do because this is such a good game. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And with that said, I think there's not much else I can say, but I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play.